Newly arrived high-definition images of Pluto have revealed a surprising discovery that has left NASA enthusiasts in awe. Examine this picture. It depicts formations reminiscent of the structures crabs create on beaches to safeguard their eggs. The purpose is to enable their offspring to swiftly move from the eggs to the water in search of sustenance. Welcome to Spaceverse, a captivating YouTube channel that delves into the mysteries of the cosmos. Join us as we explore the wonders of outer space, drawing inspiration from missions like New Horizons and Vulture, which have unveiled the secrets of distant celestial bodies like Pluto. So, let's start. Now considering this, let's scrutinize these formations, captured by NASA's New Horizons space probe on Pluto's frigid surface. Notably, these amalgamated hoo-bah-hoo -hoo crab holes are evident. The intriguing aspect is that, as per NASA, in the specific region where these structures are observed, nearly all of Pluto's liquid water is concealed beneath the ice. Could Pluto's icy water host robust, cold-adapted creatures akin to crabs? NASA's extensive high-definition imagery from the New Horizons mission suggests a parallel scenario. Review these visuals. They portray Pluto's environment, as described by NASA, undergoing the influx of noxious gases without any volcanic activity. Interestingly, this phenomenon bears resemblance to Earth's situation. Over two centuries, human activities have rapidly polluted Earth's atmosphere with harmful gases, mirroring the environmental scenario described on Pluto. In summary, Pluto, when observed from a distance, remains in its most remote state. Contrary to its seemingly tranquil appearance, further scrutiny of Pluto's images reveals a peculiar finding. The concealed object is identified as an ericot, an asteroid shaped like a snowman situated behind Pluto. According to NASA, this is not an ordinary asteroid. It might be a type of time capsule, as asteroids typically do not exhibit such shapes. This raises questions about Pluto's undisclosed secrets. To unveil the truth, a meticulous decoding of its enigmatic images is necessary. Pluto has consistently piqued NASA's curiosity. Before 2006, the clearest image of Pluto was rather indistinct leaving us with more knowledge about Jupiter and Saturn's moons than about Pluto. Consequently, in 2006, NASA launched the New Horizons space probe specifically to study Pluto. The mission aimed to promptly transmit high-definition images of Pluto to NASA, narrating the complete tale of Pluto's origin and its environment to Earth's inhabitants. After a lengthy nine-year journey, the New Horizons mission ultimately revealed Pluto's discovery. NASA shared Pluto's initial clear image unveiling a distinctive surface feature, a sizable, heart-shaped, smooth region known as Sputnik Planum. Interestingly, this region was recently formed in comparison to other parts of Pluto's surface. It prompts the notion that while humans were evolving from monkeys to humans, simultaneously, Pluto was crafting this heart-shaped feature. This is the reason NASA considers Pluto the most exquisite planet, both globally and on Earth. When the New Horizons spacecraft zoomed in on Pluto's heart and captured an image, it revealed a seemingly distant, smooth and plain area filled with intricate icy, polygonal structures. These structures are formed through a straightforward process, replicable even in our home's refrigerator. To illustrate, if you fill an ice tray with water and leave it in the freezer for a year, you'll observe the ice disappearing. This occurs because over time, the ice undergoes a process known as sublimation, transforming from a solid state to a liquid without an intermediate liquid phase. It is this sublimation process that shapes massive polygons and creates unusual structures, including crab holes, in Pluto's heart-shaped formations. Dry ice provides another example of sublimation. When removed from its storage, dry ice transitions directly from a solid to a gaseous state, evaporating without becoming a liquid. In a scientific study, it was revealed that a colossal meteorite collided with Earth 66 million years ago. Similarly, Pluto experienced a significant impact from a massive object 10 million years ago. However, due to Pluto's location, situated 100 miles away from the Sun and predominantly composed of nitrogen ice, the impact crater gradually filled with nitrogen ice instead of water, as seen on Earth. Subsequently, the sublimation process converted the nitrogen ice into steam shaping the lower surface into peculiar forms such as crab holes and polygons. If this theory holds true, then Pluto's peculiar heart-shaped Sputnik Planum, its unconventional structures, and its dense atmosphere are all the result of natural processes, primarily involving the formation of nitrogen ice. 
In this scenario, the prospect of extraterrestrial beings resembling crabs and exhibiting crab-like behavior on Pluto might need to be dismissed. Consequently, Pluto could be considered as barren as the other planets in our solar system. However, certain aspects still defy understanding. For instance, nitrogen ice is typically white, yet NASA suggests that Pluto's moon Charon was originally not red but was turned white by Pluto, which subsequently coated it with a reddish compound. According to NASA, as the New Horizons probe approached Pluto, it identified the darkest spot on Pluto's plane, the brightest spot being Sputnik Planum, right next to its darkest area, called Tholho Macula. Upon detailed chemical analysis of this region, NASA observed a significant presence of hydrocarbons like methane and ethane, in addition to nitrogen ice. NASA proposes that when Pluto, due to its unusual orbit, temporarily enters Neptune's orbit, the sun's heat transforms these hydrocarbons into tholins, a reddish compound. Due to Pluto's weak gravity, this red tholin first mehaze with its own atmosphere, causing pollution and toxicity. Subsequently, it gets deposited on Charon, which is adjacent to Pluto. Essentially, these observations indicate that the phenomenon on Pluto can be attributed to entirely natural causes. However, it remains imperative to await further exploration and observations over the coming year to gain a deeper understanding of this intriguing celestial body. The concept of uneven gravity on Earth or any other planet might sound unusual. But when Professor Francis Namo, a lead researcher at the University of California, Santa Cruz, analyzed images from NASA's New Horizons, he observed cracks and faults on Pluto's surface. These observations indicated uneven gravity in Pluto's Sputnik Planum region distinct from factors like the magnetic field or atmosphere. According to Professor Nemo, the icy heart of Pluto, Sputnik Planum, occupies a unique position. A mass difference of 19 to 20 in this region can further tilt an already inclined Pluto. Drawing an imaginary line on the opposite side of this special location connects directly to Pluto's moon Charon, termed the tidal axis. A slight change along this axis can alter the rotation of the entire planet. Computer simulations conducted by Professor Francis Nemo support this analysis. Currently, Pluto rotates in a sleeping position, but it originally stood more or less straight, resembling the Earth and other planets. However, as materials filled the impact crater of Sputnik Planum, the uneven mass distribution caused a significant tilt in Pluto's orientation, reaching up to 120 degrees. While previous theories suggested heavy elements in Sputnik Planum, primarily nitrogen ice, Professor Nemo challenges this notion. He argues that nitrogen ice alone isn't sufficiently weighty to cause such a tilt in Pluto. The plausible explanation, according to him, involves the presence of a liquid ocean beneath the surface of Sputnik Planum, composed of nitrogen ice. This assertion aligns with the earlier comparison of Pluto to Earth, emphasizing similarities in geological processes. A recent simulation even proposes that the deepest point of Pluto's ocean should be 10 times deeper than the Mariana Trench on Earth. Accounting for the required mass, the accuracy of these findings will only be ascertained when NASA conducts a detailed study of the Arakot asteroid concealed behind Pluto. NASA envisions Arakot as a time capsule that could unravel the complete narrative of Pluto's formation and shed light on the broader history of our solar system. Remarkably, the decision to study Arakot became a singular mission in the entire space industry, initiated post the launch of the New Horizons space probe. Prior to the launch, NASA lacked precise information about Arakot. Following the completion of New Horizons study of Pluto in 2015-2016, the spacecraft reached Arakot after a three-year journey. Subsequently, NASA commenced capturing images of this intriguing celestial object. A careful examination of Arakot reveals distinctive features setting it apart from a typical asteroid. It presents a red appearance, boasts a smooth and plain surface, and notably, did not collide with another asteroid but fused together. This fusion raises questions about the simplicity of collision processes observed in the asteroid belts between Mars and Jupiter, emphasizing the limited understanding of our own solar system. NASA regards Arakot as a time capsule for the solar system, anticipating that it holds valuable insights into the history of our celestial neighborhood. The timeline for unraveling this historical information remains uncertain, and only time will reveal when NASA opens the pages of this cosmic history. Meanwhile, scientists have already provided intriguing details about Pluto, previously unknown, 
through the images captured by the New Horizon spacecraft. In our history thus far, the New Horizon spacecraft stands as both the first and the most recent to venture close to Pluto. Following this mission, NASA's second endeavor, the Vulture, moved on from Pluto. During this mission, NASA transmitted 116 images, encompassing scenes from the Taj Mahal to the traffic lights of Pakistan. The rationale behind sending these specific images to potential extraterrestrial recipients is explained by the scientists responsible for creating the golden record. And that's it. Thanks for joining us on this cosmic journey today. If you crave more space wonders, hit subscribe, like, and ring that bell. Until next time, keep exploring the cosmos with Spaceverse.